Nearly a thousand unsheltered men, women, and children were counted in the last uh, point in time count that's conducted by Lane County every year. So this is almost a thousand people who are on our streets and in our parks and along our riverbanks and some of the most vulnerable populations who have nowhere to go at night. Recognizing that need, um, the rest stops were created to allow people a, a safe and legal place to go. The way a rest stop's been defined by the community of Eugene is it's a safe location managed by a certain set of expectations and rules. It's a temporary location for a homeless person to be in a position to where they can get to the resources they need to get to to become housed. I feel like rest stops are an incredible way um, to help people who have lost housing form community. Um, unlike a shelter, the rest stops provide a place uh, for people to keep their things and really live uh, until they're able to transition into more permanent housing. A lot of the people who come into our program, they wouldn't have a chance to really improve their life if they, if they don't have a place where they could stabilize. And stability is the number one thing that our program offers, is, is an, a chance to get out of survival mode and get into thinking a little bit more about their immediate future instead of just thinking about day to day. About mid-2014, we met a couple under a bridge who was introduced to us by somebody that was staying at our veterans camp at the time. I was born in Eugene and uh, we came out here for me to be with my family and I was gone for 20 years, but I went to school here. Um, I love Eugene, I love Oregon. I absolutely want to stay here for the rest of my life. We were sleeping under a bridge just waiting to get a ticket because it was on railroad land. We didn't feel safe. Thank God we're together today, me and my husband, because of community-supported shelters and them taking us in. We saw their vulnerability at the moment, and so we were able to quickly place them into our Roosevelt Safe Spot Camp, where the, uh, the, the husband eventually became groundskeeper, and she became our tour host. Since my husband stepped up to a management position, we had a little more time than the regular residents. So uh, he was volunteering his time as groundskeeper. I would help with little things around the camp, like doing the tours and stuff that come over there. You look at the difference between when they first moved in and now, and it's a remarkable change. While she was in her, our program, she got her teeth redone, so she has dentures now, and so she smiles a bunch. And, and when, you, when you look at the early pictures, she's, she looks miserable. And he uh, is able to um, work now. He started receiving his social security income, so now they're able to pay rent. They left feeling empowered and you know, ready to face life and, and move on to a new chapter in life. We were always positive about the rest stops in the sense that at least it was a better situation than these folks living on the street. I think everyone agrees that it's not a long-term solution. A long-term solution is actually providing permanent housing for these folks, um, and that is one of the key issues in Eugene is the fact there isn't enough housing for folks who are on low income or homeless. We truly believe in um, housing first which is a model where if you can get somebody into housing and then do proper case management and give them all the skills they need to, to do well in that housing, then it's a far better model than even a shelter or living on the streets. I think a lot of the community's perception is still based on what they think about when they see a illegal homeless camp. They think of garbage, they think it's in disarray, our program is nothing like that. When you go to our program, people uh, feel light, they feel uh, empowered, they are friendly. Our camps are tidy, organized, clean. They are transitional locations. These are intended to give the people that are in them the time to get into permanent housing or to get into situations to where they can get a source of income to be able to provide housing for themselves. 
provides the time for them to make the decisions and do the things they need to do to get onto permanent stable housing. We vet people, we talk to people before they come in. We don't let everybody in. If people are obviously under the influence of drugs or alcohol, we have to ask them to come back another time because we don't allow alcohol or drugs in the safe spot. All of these rules are in place and the on-site management is in place in order to uh, make sure that the rest stops are good neighbors to the neighboring businesses and residents. We've had an independent study by the University of Oregon found no negative impacts on neighboring businesses and residents from the rest stops. Um, they found that most around the rest stops tend to be supportive and uh, continue to feel that their neighborhoods are safe. What I've noticed is that our issues are probably more prevalent when rest stop is not here. Uh, we, we haven't had very many issues. We seem to have less people in the area. We've never had an issue related to the rest stop camps and we've had them probably within you know, I'm gonna say a couple hundred yards of our property. I don't know where we would be without the rest stop. We're comfortable today. We've made it into this trailer park. It took us two and a half years, but we finally got on our feet with, with help. The vision for us is that, that everybody without shelter would have uh, some place that where they can legally sleep, no matter what their, their individual challenges. And it's gonna really take the whole community to get behind that vision to make it work because it, it's a big, it's a struggle to, to find places, especially in, in different neighborhoods besides along the train tracks to host these programs. Helping to diversify the, the, the land where the rest stops are placed would help our community's overall strategy with dealing with homelessness um, become much more successful. Well, my hope for the future is that we have more housing for people that's affordable. But in the meantime, we need to find a permanent spot. Moving every six months is a tremendous burden on the people who live here. They've had enough challenges in their life without having to pick up every six months. Eugene needs more rest stops because the rest stops provide a gateway out of homelessness for people and they minimize the impacts of illegal camping. If we had rest stops in every community, the community could come together around to support. I am willing to be a neighbor to one of these rest stops, and I would, I would probably get involved with some supportive uh, opportunity, whether that may be helping them to get water, or uh, some of the rest stops are doing mentor programs. Uh, I would welcome members of the rest stop in my neighborhood association and their feedback into community planning. It's been a really positive collaboration and we just feel great about helping these folks get off the street um, on their way to hopefully permanent housing and permanently getting out of homelessness. And that's what we're all about. It's just a wonderful place to heal and get back on your feet. It's beautiful.